guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're here in Hartville at the Winterfest. It looks like there's just a dance party going on in this thing. And then there's a train ride over here, but you have to pay $5 a person for it. This is the current crowd levels right now inside at one of the places to dine and eat. And then if I turn around here, there's some, there's Kelsey. <laughs> And there's some shopping to do, which we'll probably head back this way later for like the flea market stuff. But we're just in line right now to um, eat here at Sarah's Grill. So we got tired of waiting in line and Kelsey just grabbed her food and checked out. Because you were allowed to. But yeah, this I, was three chicken tenders, but I already ate it. Yeah, I realized why you were waiting in line though. You were going to get those cinnamon bite things. Yeah, they ain't worth that one. <laughs> but these are good. They're good. I already had these. How's the these? fries? Those are like long done silver fries. Ooh, I might Those try one. Done. But yeah, just chicken tenders and fries so far. Probably everything we're gonna get. No. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. But we'll show you around and like yeah. the things that are here. Over here they have pictures with Santa. Obviously that kid does not like it. <laughs> and we're gonna go into the Hartville Antique Alley, which is over this way. It's a bunch of shopping. There's a whole bunch of furniture. It's Amish furniture. So you know it's good. They got a whole bunch. They have a freaking bed over there. They have all this cute dog stuff. And I found a little Colts hoodie for Loki. I hope it fits. We'll see. They said, can we go in here for a second? With all these clothes. I was really looking at those things up there that glow. I was really looking at one of them. Oh. They're and usually expensive. These, and I thought vests and coats and hats, which is my style. I love that down this way they look like little stores. And this isn't a big building, so it's not like an actual storefront, like outside. This is inside another building. Here's all the apples you'd ever want. There's like a five pound bag. All the apples you've ever wanted. For eight dollars. Or ever needed. Over here they're playing Elf. I think they already went through it once. It's starting over. And then across the way, they have a little stand over here that you can buy marshmallows. They have a bunch of fire pits that you can roast marshmallows at. Those are really good. I think that one has a reindeer in it or something. I'm not quite sure yet. But this one's already finished. Love penguins. We have this huge line for the horse drawn carriage rides. You can barely see them over there in the dark. They're like big, big, big horses. I want my own private ride if I'm paying five bucks a person. Down this way they have Amish donuts and a barbecue truck and then another thing with just pretzels. Here's like a donkey. He looks very upset to be here. They do have a real reindeer. Oh my gosh. I thought they might have just put some branches on his head, but he's a real, a real one. Look at those antlers. Holy crap. Look at his tongue. <laughs> Reminds me of that time we went to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo and that giraffe, giraffe was licking, licking the pole. He's like, I'm hungry. There's a real camel out where you can just go up and touch it. So we're gonna go up and touch it. Look at him, he really does look really happy. He's like, I'm so pleased with my life right like now. Loki. Yeah, he does. Oh my. I'm gonna touch him. <laughs> Oh my god, he's so soft. He's huge. <laughs> Isn't he soft? Like a carpet. Yeah. He's super soft. And there's the line for the train on the way out. It is still like a mile and a half long. Like the lady said that was taking our picture, everything here is five dollars. So not completely free event. It is free to go in, but then you pay $5 for the train per person, which is not worth it. Pay $5 for the uh, ride, um, like a hay ride, but with horses on it. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know how far that goes, so I can't really say if that's Doesn't worth it or like not. Doesn't look like far, like it circles. It was two for five s'mores kits. $3 I mean, hot chocolate. Yep. And then some places inside the vendor area were cash only. Yeah. I will say it was worth coming to once. I don't know if I'd come back again, 
Um, but the ice carving was really cool. Mm -hmm. I, that guy did an amazing job on that penguin. Yeah, that was cool. Um, the horses and the donkeys and the reindeer. We saw a real reindeer. And the camel. And the camel that we got to go up and touch. That was pretty cool. And those were all free. Um, and then the food was pretty good as well. But, yeah. Um. It was all right. It was, it was fun. I, and they had basically, like, the shopping was, like, just the regular, like, flea market that they have inside at Hartville. Which is really nice. Um, just bring cash. So, yeah, that was the other thing that we didn't bring any cash, so we couldn't do much shopping unless they took cards. And realistically, we should have thought about it and known that and realized that. Right. And if we would have had more time personally to shop, it mm -hmm. probably would have been more fun. Right. We would have got more stuff done. Yeah. But it was fun. pretty okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching today's video. See, See you guys, guys next time. time. Bye. Bye.